Hello everyone. So today, let me show you how I have uh, started using uh, org mode for uh, creating my resume. And uh, this is something that uh, I believe is a wonderful thing that you can do with org mode. I mean, not just uh, a resume, you can actually do any kind of uh, proper publishing of documents. But because resume is something that you know, we all should have, I think, um, even though you can have your own company, or maybe you're working for your yourself, but I believe uh, you should have a resume, or a CV or whatever you want to call it or any profile, where people can check what you have been doing. And of course, you know, you have a profile on LinkedIn. But of course, you know, LinkedIn is a LinkedIn. I mean, uh, LinkedIn is nothing but a social networking site. It is more about, uh, you know, a <laughs> uh, place where people can uh, show off things. But uh, uh, this is, of course, my resume, where, of course, you know, it is nothing but a web page where, uh, you know, uh, I have listed my, you know, profile or summary or maybe my key skills. Basically, it is a web page. Now, in a resume, you can have, you know, I mean, I'm not really an expert on uh, creating resumes, but uh, if you have a resume, you want to maybe uh, talk about your uh, publications, your certifications and your experience, of course, and at the same time, maybe your education up to you, whatever you want to do, it is your resume. But I thought, you know, I can do the same thing in uh, org mode. So why should I use uh, this web page? I mean, to be honest, I don't really have to send my resume to people. Uh, but even if I have to, I would prefer or they will probably ask for a PDF. I mean, I always ask them, okay, go and take my profile link here. But if you have to send them something, you can, of course, uh, you know, create a PDF. And for doing that, you can, uh, uh, you can use LaTeX. So this is my org file where I have my resume. Same thing. I mean, I just have a copy of this particular page. And it is not really, not really a complicated page here. I just have the title and then subtitle. So this subtitle is basically this particular line. And then uh, I have the date. I, I think it is always good to have a date so that you know the last time you uh, wrote anything here. And uh, then of course you have different uh, subtrees. Like I have something for my summary where I have the, you know, expertise in Atlassian tools and apps. I've listed them here. And at the same time, I have my key skills and technical skills. So this is something that, you know, you can do. But uh, for publications, I have the bullet points. And uh, basically, this particular page, I'll show you how we can create this particular page using uh, nothing but I mean, the good thing is that if you're using org mode, not only you can create a, a LaTeX file, but you can also create a PDF file, you can also export it to ODT, uh, you know, those LibreOffice files, and you can also create a very nice HTML file. So you can all do that by simply using one org file. And it is much more easier to maintain than multiple formats and different files. So let us go back. So this is my resume and I'll not really, you know, show you each and everything. Or maybe I will. So I mean, the, the thing with org mode is that you can, of course, you know, do this folding, which is wonderful, by the way. I love that it is much more convenient. And this is look at my my wonderful experience here. I have worked with great companies and uh, and uh, right now I'm running my own company, so which is even better. So my education and my social media, or not not media, but my social links. So let us do this export of the same file to a PDF. And for doing PDF, I'll use a LaTeX. And what I do normally, I have this uh, set of file, and I think I talked about this. Let me show you this set of file because uh, I want to show you how this file will uh, behave and how this file will come on control x control plus yeah so basically what when you're doing a, a, a latex export you can actually define few things in the header for example you have to specify your uh, class and by the way I, i'm using my own class called org plain latex and uh, this particular uh, class is actually defined in my emacs uh, init file. So this is something that you don't have to do. But if you do this, then you will have uh, more flexibility when you are uh, working with, uh, you know, your latex documents. Uh, so right now, this is my custom class, you don't have to use it, by the way, I'm just, you know, repeating. So you can actually specify it here. And uh, then you can use this article, and there are a lot of other options. And uh, 
the good thing about this particular uh, configuration or this setup file is that you can also define uh, headers or footers if you want to by the way for example i have a similar file for my company which i use so this is uh, basically the same thing but some additional uh, configurations for example i am using a footer here and this footer can have your address for example uh, i know that some people also use org mode for sending invoices so you can maybe create uh, this uh, separate file and store your uh, or maybe in the footer maybe you can uh, use your company's address phone number if you want to so this is basically the setup file and uh, let me export i think uh, i'm just talking too much so i'll do l and then o the first thing i'll do is i'll probably export it to latex and then of course pdf so this is a wonderful document by the way i love this <laughs> this is uh, really nice and uh, this is of course my resume and by the way you can of course you know do more ch more further um, configurations to it and this looks really good by the way i mean just look at this document it is uh, one i mean whenever i do a latex export of any org file to pdf uh, this is uh, something i love by the way this is so nicely presented it is looking like a professional document and uh, just look at my wonderful profile uh, it, it's a simple profile and, uh, and of course you know, if you want to do more changes to it you can use those set of files and uh, because we're we are talking about uh, export let me also show you html so because i i also have my website where i have my resume but i don't really want to do these changes if, if i have to update my resume i'll probably do it in my org file and then i'll use the html file or or basically the html content so what i'll do i'll probably do h and then capital h so that it will generate this uh, nice big um html for me and i will go back to my website and i'll probably create a simple uh, page maybe so that i can uh, let us create a simple page and i'll show you I'll, I'll do a comparison of how this particular html looks like if i compare it with the the resume which is already there on the website so this is uh, the resume and i will paste the html content here and uh, i will probably change the filter to full html whatever and save and Oh, I think uh, okay. I, I think uh, the the header part is probably a bit messed up. But uh, if you compare it, I'll probably break it up into where what happened to my other window. Yep, this is the resume on the left hand side, and this is on the right hand side. So except the the header header on top, I think it looks quite similar. So the summary is looking like a summary on the right. And uh, of course, you know, it is HTML, so you can always modify it. Publications, you know, these bullet points and certifications. It, it all it all looks almost like, or not almost. I think it looks like the one that I have on the right hand side. And uh, this is of course HTML, but uh, you can do more. You can actually uh, also create uh, a very nice uh, ODT. So let us generate OD ODT file. So Control C, Control E and uh, we are talking about this uh, o and o that will generate the already file in the in this in the same directory and uh, i guess it is now done let me try to open it maybe i'll just open it here LibreOffice, and uh, what is the location of my so i need to go to and uh, ravisagar dot odt and let us look at the odt file and in case you prefer odt i mean uh, you can do this and th this looks again wonderful I in fact odt will give you i i like the way odt file is generated because it is uh, definitely <laughs> looking uh, better uh, slightly better because you have more control you can actually change things on the fly but personally i prefer not involving ODT. I, I use ODT only when uh, someone is asking me, can, Ravi, can you please uh, send me this document in a doc file or, you know, those Word document. And in that case, I will 
probably, I mean, not really resume, but, uh, you know, it, it happens sometimes. You know, people ask for, can you please send me your resume in Word file? So the thing is that if you have to generate a Word file, you can actually generate it using uh, this, you know, just save it as uh, the Word, you know, docx file. So this is something that, you know, you can do. And also, you know, while we're doing it, let me also show you a simple HTML because, you know, why not? So the same document, Control C, Control E, and uh, H, and H, small h. So this will actually generate this Ravi Sagar, and uh, maybe, maybe, maybe I'll go to the same directory because the, the simple HTML file is actually uh, also not bad. I mean, I prefer, I do have a website like, you know, Ravi.pro where I keep things very simple. No, I mean, absolutely nothing there, just simple blog that I post using my Emacs. So let me open my blog and uh, I'll show you the simple HTML file. So this is the simple HTML file. So you can see here that using org mode, you can uh, generate LaTeX documents and uh, you can also generate uh, PDF using LaTeX. You can also generate, uh, what else? Uh, ODT, you can also generate HTML, and uh, I guess a lot of other formats. I think uh, these are the most common things that you can do with uh, org mode. And this looks, in my opinion, uh, really good. I mean, my personal favorite is LaTeX, but I am happy with the fact that uh, I can generate any kind of format or most common formats uh, using nothing but org file. And uh, great thing about this particular org file is that it is nothing but a text file. So you can always version control and it is, if I have to modify it, I can quickly do it and then I can send it to someone. And that is it. That is all I wanted to talk about today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and uh, you learned something new today. Thank you very much. Bye bye.